That's weird. Shoot. I gotta make stuff. Oh, hello! And a very merry tub tub miss. Tub step miss. Yep, it's very soon gonna be the 12 days of dub step for me. That's the way I ride on this holiday season. Ho, ho, ho! Yeah, so I'm here to talk about some AEW. 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 So, yep, I'm sorry this is a day behind only because I actually had work to do and I had to finish up schoolwork because I had a tough choice to make. It was be five minutes late to work or be done stuff. I chose to be done stuff. Sorry. Um, well, at least on my other job. Because now I don't have to worry about tomorrow. I can do some unofficial garbage stuff. And that's kind of the least of my concerns. And I can always work on that during the day. Submit that before I leave. Say, yes! 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 And just show up literally for like one day. For a few hours. Monday. And I'm done. Make a trip up to Jacksonville, drop off some gifts, and then I can tranquil. Oh, I can. All day Thursday. Oh, that's going to feel so good. And actually, so is Wednesday. Not Tuesday, nor Monday, nor Friday, by the way. Nor Saturday. Whoa. But I'm here, let's, let's talk about, stop talking about my woes, AEW. And hopefully if I have off, actually a couple of Wednesdays from now, I'll be able to go see it up in Jacksonville. That would be cool. Uh, first, some shout-outs, Theodore Belmont. Yes, sir. I forget what you commented about. But you know what, sir? You're just out of here. It was probably something about the last video I made. Or did he actually... Yeah. I forget. I forget his comment now. And I'm too lazy right now to look it up. But thank you very much for whatever comment you left. I'm sure I had to do something with... The WWE Live video I made. Yep. Um... Did, did you request something? No, that was... I don't care. Thank you very much. You got your shout out. And Mojo! Mojo. You've taken all my mojo. I have to make you a creative character in the Daytona Beach Bonfire League. Look for him in a couple of weeks for the prelude to Christmas! Or Deletesmas! Yes, because it'll be Drunk Miss Eve. And then, delete, Miss! Delete! 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 Matt Hardy is deleting himself. Yes, Matt Hardy might be leaving WWE. He just wanted one little last month in it. He said, hey, I don't want to go out injured. Like, give me a few matches. My contract's up. I'm done. But again, enough of that nonsense stuff. Let's talk about some AEW. First, we have John Moxley in a proper squash match. It took a knee. Uh, uh, John Moxley taking on Alex Rudolph or Randolph, whatever. It doesn't even or Alex Reynolds. I'm sorry, Alex Reynolds. Um, took a knee, a paradigm shift, and a squash. This is really good. And then his. Uh, Alex Randolph's partner John Silver came in. He got he got paradigm shifted for his troubles. This is the way you have to book Moxley. This is a ham sandwich. And then Jericho with the bubbly. 
the show gets off to a hard stop. He offers Moxie the t-shirt. Oh. Of course, in the background for that unruly Texas crowd. Bye, man. Moxley. F him up. Moxley. F him up. Again, he offered that, that free t-shirt. You never know what's going to happen. You know what that means. I take a free t-shirt and join the inner circle. That's just me. Then in our next event, we have the Butcher, the Blade, and the Bunny. Taking on QT Marshall and Cody Rhodes. Hey, you know who's eating the pin here? Uh, Cody, again, he does that rope running power slam, which is awesome. It's kind of pretty good back and forth. Uh, the Blade kind of takes the beating for the most part. The Butcher is a big, strong... British guy. QT Marshall is just there. He does showcase his offense, but later. Uh, Alley grab QT Marshall's foot. Again, the blade just punched and then plunches. Well, right on him, because QT Marshall went outside. He's like, you can't touch my foot. Yeah, well, the blade just said otherwise, because the blade just said a flying plancher onto you. Uh, Cody, for some reason, finds a bottle of water and sprays water in the face of the butcher. Which is not necessarily the vicious green mist, or the red mist, or the black mist. So that doesn't do anything but actually cool down Kim Mike given pneumonia because it looked like that was cold in there. And Texas this kind of year does tend to get cold, and it's a new arena. Looks like a minor league hockey arena, and people were actually pretty well bundled up. So we'll see what happens. Uh. And then again, for some reason, the little guys always get beat on. QT Marshall got beat on. Uh, the Blade got beat on. That seems to be a theme in tag team wrestling. Or is it just me? Uh, Cody eventually does get put in the ring. Uh, QT gets in his offense, though. Whoa. Cody has a moonsault. It's a good moonsault. Not in the top five, but a good moonsault nonetheless. And then someone in the crowd got a free weight belt because Cody was teasing to use it. But instead, he tossed it into the crowd. That could have hurt someone, actually. Wait a second. That could hurt someone. Whoa. Allie eventually rakes the eyes. And QT does this weird flop over the rope. That not good. This is when QT started his offense in. He even gets a moonsault. And then what happened at the end, of course, Cody Rhodes is up because he got the eyes raked by Allie. Most vicious move in all of wrestling. Maybe the most dastardly move, too. The IRA, especially if you have fingernails like the Benny. Uh, eventually, the Butcher and the Blade hit their combo, the Suplex Lung Blower. Looks good. Looks devastating enough. QT Marshall eats the pin. This was fun. Even though it really didn't advance much, it tells the story of Cody always trying. And then there was, I believe, a short video from MJF. Because, again, QT Marshall, he's like, Cody Rose, I'll partner with anyone. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll pick your partner. It's going to be QT Marshall. Yeah. Uh, but, again, this match was actually pretty good. Again, it was a good tag team match. They're getting the dynamics. AW is going to be known, I hate to say it, probably for, really, their tag team division. Everything else is kind of interesting. But this is a good... Surf and turf match. Narby Allen comes on and helps Cody up. Indeed. Especially after what Cody did to him. Yeah, that was here in Daytona Beach. Was it? Yeah. yeah. That was here in Daytona Beach. You know, some of those things, some of those spots look sick. Uh, then we have an Jeff promo. Again, you suck, Dick. Wow, that crowd was vicious. And he said it, folks. He said, suffer and suck at that. He must have been reading Ro Roman Reigns' lines. In fact, I mean, that's going to be that's, that's going to be his Vince feeding MJF scripts. Uh, then there was a Dark Order promo. Dark Order, we're not worthy. We're not worthy. You only get two of them because that was pretty good. Uh, then it got to the women's division. 
They had Big Swole versus Emmy Sakura. I swore I saw Big Swole do some advertisement on NWA like a couple of shows ago. And I have to get my NWA shows in, too. I have a lot of stuff to do Friday. Wow. And I have to do two. Yep. I'm a busy person. Um, they start off with a Greco Roman knuckle hawk. <laughs> JR is just so out of his like, yeah, I like a Greco Roman knuckle hawk along with along with some beans. And everyone's like, the heck are you talking about, old man? Old man. Uh, and then of course Soccer does a hair toss on onto Big Swole. Then the Mexican surfboard, and I have no idea why Emmy Soccer does not win more often. But, I mean, besides, really, the Mexican surfboard matches me. Uh, JR's definitely not helping this match. He's not helping any of the women there. I mean, Sakura did hit the wheelbarrow DDT, but Big Swole hit the spear, and we know the spear is like the fourth most devastating move of all of wrestling. Big Swole whiz, Emi Sakura, again, at one time in the title, in the non-existent, boring, blah, title picture. It's probably no longer in the title picture. You know what? This is a can of soup match. Actually, no, 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 no. It was a ham sandwich match. I'll try to put my Love of Impact's Women Division to the side for now. Oh, I'm going to miss a couple days. And then we had the Bastard Pac. Well, he should always give promos. Him and Moxley are amazing at promos. Then we have Kip Saban and Sean Spears taking on Hangman Adam Page and Kenny Omega. And with this, Kenny Omega has the early advantage. He just goes crazy. He beats up Sean Spears. He goes after Kip Sabian. Uh, and then eventually it's, it's uh, Sean Spears versus Hangman Adam Page. So we've seen that a little bit. We have the double X, double X handle blows. Oh, so good. And then the Polish hammer shots. Old school wrestling. What did I put there? Yeah, I forget. Oh, and then uh, what's her face? Penelope Ford. She teases a Naito. Which is gimmick infringement, Penelope Ford, but I'll let you get away with it. Especially if you show us your boobies. Booty. Uh, then Kenny Omega hit the, the double bulldog. And once I saw that, I'm like... <laughs> Kip Sabian's eating the pen. But only if he before does actually get involved, she's the distract. She distracts Kenny Omega. Oh, whoa. She has a good hurricanrana. Wait a second. Didn't they do this with Selena Vega? Vince McMahon. You dirty. Then she did that flippy back elbow. She got in the ring and being distracted. And Kenny Omega has those knees. Whoa. And all of a sudden, the lights go out, or at least up by the stage. And then up by the stage, you're like, oh, the heck's going on? Did they lose power? Just Texas, mind you. You don't know how their power bills are paid. Or if some cow or steer or bull ran into a power, power pole. This is Texas, folks. But the lights go back, and Joey Janela shows up with a tied-up Tully Blanchard. Does Tessa approve of this? I don't think she would. But so then they get Sean Spears up there. Joey Janela beats him up. Uh, Kenny Omega hits more knees on Kip Sabian. And then out of the middle of nowhere. Whoa. Hangman Adam Page comes in, hits the buckshot lariat. And Wow. There's a little tension there between Kenny Omega and the Hangman Adam Page. The hangman Adam Page is full of cowboy shit, cowboy shit, cowboy shit, cowboy shit. And Penelope Ford, he helps her man, though. Good for her. So therefore, this match was okay. 
Uh, again, Hangman M. Page and Kenny Omega go over. Eh, it's a cheeseburger match. Then we have Brandy. And Brandy has to be very careful about the outfit she, she's wearing. You, you can you can see, you see a, a, a a little line forming. Yeah, a little stuff there. You can see. Whoa, that was a size too small. Yes, I'll see. And I guess she wants some alien because that's what the other person's supposed to be like. Not a good fit. Not good. Uh, then we have Sammy Guevara taking on Luchasaurus. Luchasaurus is awesome. Uh, Sammy made the big mistake by slapping Luchasaurus. I'm actually surprised this wasn't a squash match. Luchasaurus should absolutely rip the head off Sammy Guevara and eat it. And, and, and then poop down his neck. Uh, Sammy Guevara again, he tries pretty hard. He actually is really good. Once he starts running the ropes and gets his momentum up, he actually takes it to Luchasaurus. Well, I'm kind of shocked that. Uh, then let's see here. Someone gets kicked off, kicked out of the ringside. It's probably Hagar. Probably enough of him. Get out of here. And actually, Sammy Guevara. Yeah. I think that's that. Yeah, someone got kicked out of the ring. Uh, Luchasaurus then goes goes to town on Sammy Guevara. Once Sammy Guevara starts flipping, though, that's when he gets it's pretty good stuff. But I'll tell you what, this really should have been a squash match. Because then it was like a six-man beat-up. Because Le Champion. And the inner circle came out, and they eventually beat up everyone. So, eh. if you're gonna have Lucha Source, you're gonna have this really big guy. You can't have him. You can't. You can job out Sammy Guevara, and it won't hurt him, especially to a monster like Lucha Source. This is a ham sandwich. And we have our main event. We have the Bucks of Youth. The Young Bucks taking on Hernandez and Ortiz. I don't even want to say their na other name because it sucks. It says Hernandez and Ortiz. And I call them move their gringo killer still. Because that's what it is. Not their street sweeper. It's the gringo killer. Um, so with this, the Young Bucks get jumped. And you just see this, this, this poop ball of Young Buck Bucks. Young Buck Bucks. I like Buck Bucks. Uh, go flying all over the place. Brandon Cutler comes out. They, they, they kill him for his efforts. Don't interfere, Brandon Cutler. It's not going to do you any good. It's going to get you in a fake neck brace and fake injured, fake storyline and kayfabe. And they did the Melter driver on the ramp after they kind of came to their senses. Really good. Uh, Nick off the entrance. There were so many tables being broken. Tables. Tables. Hit a senton through the table. That was amazing. SC used their ringside. And actually, they do mention the fact that, that they would meet up every so often in Pro Wrestling Gorilla. It's always neat when the announce says, announce team says, you know what? Yes, they didn't wrestle someplace else. And they don't mention the country, but they name specific the promotion. So I wonder how many views Pro Wrestling Girl is going to get, especially about young, about young Buck matches. This was actually a really fun match, though. Again, they were beating him up. Uh, the trash cans come in the ring. Uh, and then one of the Young Bucks put on a Dallas Cowboy helmet. That was pretty good. And, and I wonder if this is a troll at TLC, because they use everything but the ladders. To be honest, they use the cowboy helmet, garbage cans, kendo sticks, the baseballs on the sock, all the tables. It was fun. Uh, they did uh, the one young buck hit the locomotion through the table on the outside. That was amazing. 
There's tables breaking left and right. Everyone's going through a table. Why? Oh, the humanity. Oh, the tables. The young bus get beat up a lot. Uh, then there's a ref bump. And after a miscue, you want the Young Bucks super kick the ref after, I think, Ortiz gets out of the way. And the Aubrey comes back. No one's putting their hands on Aubrey. Then Dustin Rose shows up. That I'm the son of a plumber. You broke my arm. I'm going to break you off. Face, boy. So Dustin, so Dustin shows up. My boy is there. Protecting the honor of the Dustin Rose family. Uh, then there was a lot of unprotected headshots. Oh, they either really know what they're doing, because this is actually looking pretty cool, especially with the cookie sheets. Cookie sheets probably don't hurt hurt that much, but it does make a satisfying whap. Then there's, there's more bangs for your buck. They hit the gringo killer. Eventually, the young bucks do hit a Meltzer driver, and Hernandez and Ortiz lose. Very interesting enough, because for this match, the young bucks now face SCU. Uh, I think next week for the belts. I forget if it's next week or if it's going to be at Jacksonville. Jacksonville's going to feel like a little bit of a mini pay-per-view. I'll tell you what, this match was amazing. If you have to see any tag team match, geez, just watch all the AEW tag team matches because they all seem to be either surf and surf matches or like this match, a filet mignon match. And that was AEW. Again, it was fun show. It went quick with the ex with the exception of the women's stuff. They haven't dialed in the women's division yet. That was AEW. So probably on Friday tomorrow or later today, depending on whenever you see this video, I'll be making. <laughs> I'll finally get down to watch NWA. Two shows I've missed. And. Oh, what else do I need to do? I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Definitely SmackDown. I'll, I'll, and then I do have to make my TLC predictions on Sunday. I'll have those up by Saturday, I promise. And then Sunday will be TLC. So that'll be interesting. I might get here a little bit late because I have to work till seven thirty that day. All depends when I get out of work. So, but once I get out of work, wait a second, seven thirty. We got out. Oh, no, that's right. I think. I forget. It's been a while since I've worked on Sunday. But with all that being said, again, I'll get most of TLC in. That'll be a normal couple of weeks. Again, thank you, everyone, for watching. And if you want to be like, oh, Bojo, well, you have to do a lot. But if you want to be like Theodore Belmont, again, always leave me a comment. And if you get enough comments, you become like Mojo and you'll get your own character. The Daytona Beach Bum Fight League. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.